Amos, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did, did you did you forget where a certain button is? Um, no, I was just getting ready to to press it. I I, I was just like looking over the show notes and, and thinking, man, this would be a good time to to press a button and and, and maybe even start some shit. <laughs> what would the what would the button do? Uh, it would it would it would make a sound. Oh, yeah, what's that sound like? Uh, burnt chicken, burnt banner, burnt chicken. Burnt. I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't mouth our music, dude. It's, it's just not right. Hello and welcome. <laughs> and you can't mouth me. I got. <laughs> Nor would I want to. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Mystery Podcast, episode 131 for Thursday, the 15th of June, 2017. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and with us tonight by by audio only, because he's a douche and didn't get a camera, is Paul Smith. Hey, what's up, IRC? <laughs> it is the one and only Paul Smith. Just yeah. Google it. He's yeah. really awesome, Paul yeah, he, Smith. You will not find another Paul Smith. You, if you look him up, it's definitely him. Well, you won't find a half <laughs> Korean one named Paul Smith. I will guarantee that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he says. Yeah, exactly. And I, what's up, Amos? I I forgot to uh, reset Showbot because I'm that much of an awesomeness. Well, hey, what better time than, than right now? Right then, right after the show, exactly. Hey, man, how's your week been? Oh man, busy of course. Uh, Lucas is still a driver in training, yeah. and uh, this week I've been teaching him basic maintenance. Uh, that's been fun. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait! You maintaining a car is awkward enough for me, let alone teaching someone no, else no. to do so. No, no, no! I said basic, and I mean the most basic shit, like like, like putting gas you, in the in the tank. <laughs> yes, <laughs> put gas in the tank. Check the air pressure in the tires. You know. Well, um, if you can't do that, you should just move to New Jersey because we don't put our own gas in our tanks because we're too good for that shit, <laughs> all right? <laughs> yeah, that's what New Jersey and, and Oregon are like, the last two vestiges of, <laughs> of full-service pumps. Yeah, dude, it's... uh, I, My hands are still soft, you know? <laughs> like, I don't do my own work. <laughs> I don't put in my own gas. Cool. Didn't notice he I said soft. <laughs> what, what was that, Kent? I said, notice he said soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't get enough from my Oklahoma girlfriend. Yeah, uh, I, I, look, we're just surprised you actually ma uh, maintain a girlfriend at all. So, um, you know, there's that. Well, it's it's <laughs> called psychological manipulation. You should really look into it. It's <laughs> is it it's the beast news. Is that what they taught you in the Air Force? Because uh, you are a a prior enlisted, actually, right? Yeah, yeah. I used to be a staff sergeant, so I used to be pretty good at that. So, yeah. you know, and I never got I never got paperwork because. Uh, I was psychologically manipulative. Right, exactly. I mean, that's the, you're just using your training at work there. Um, I yeah, met... well, it's my training from my Korean mother. Was a huge <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I met you uh, working at the O Lounge. Well, I was I was a patron at the O Lounge initially before I started volunteering up there and doing some stuff with you guys. And you hosted pretty much every event up there. Um, but that was after you were out of the military. So why the hell did you get out of the military to stay in Korea? Besides the soju, the pretty women the comedy scene and you know living life like you should <laughs> actually so like when i separated i actually uh i separated out of san angelo texas and moved to denver because i just wanted to smoke weed real bad like good stuff right right so i went i went to denver and then uh i couldn't sustain myself fin uh, financially so i went back home to south jersey like all losers do right and then <laughs> Sarah hit me up talking about she wants to uh, open up a comedy club, so I went over there to consult on it. And you know, you've been there. That place, you know, I pretty much designed that shit from the ground up. That, mm -hmm. that club is fucking phenomenal. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's when I went over there. This is uh, this is the Paul Smith from the O Lounge Comedy Cast. If you've ever listened to that one of my other podcasts, that didn't last as long as I wanted it to, but um, it very very funny dude, uh, especially when you're making fun of yourself because that seems to be your forte. <laughs> or, your, or your or your fort. I don't know which one of those words I'm supposed to use at which time. I like get confused all the time. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I've really enjoyed having you as as not only a friend and as a comedic coach for the for the limited time we got to work together, but you have a, a certain brand of comedy that is um, it, it kind of transcends the both both areas of your life, and I really enjoy that, especially 
when uh, you don't get laughs. Th- that's my that's, <laughs> that's the funniest part about the show to me, and I, I really appreciate you standing up there and taking that out. Yeah, man. Yeah, like so. Whenever I don't get like, I'm actually pretty good at not getting laughs, but then getting laughs because I make fun of myself for not getting laughs. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's like, I got really good at being (laughs) anti-funny. Writing dumb shit and then making fun of my dumbness. Yeah. You know? Found your niche. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Um, You're still doing stand-up, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I still do stand-up in South Jersey. I'm part of a group called uh, the High Note Humor Collective. Uh, I know, right? That that doesn't sound imposing at all. Like, (laughs) (laughs) Like, should I be scared? (laughs) I added I added collective at the end. Uh, they oh. just call themselves high note humor. I added collective because I wanted to sound British or some shit, you know. Or, like, or, just or like you wanted to sound like you weren't the only person there. I, I get it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. We you know we do open mics, we do showcases in South Jersey. Uh, we're really close to Philadelphia, but like uh, if you guys ever been to the Northeast, it's you know every bridge has tolls and parking. You got to pay for parking, so it's a hassle to get to Philly to do mics. So we run uh, stuff in South Jersey. Awesome. Um, this week, I uh, I really ramped up my Plex, man. I started converting DVDs over. Like I'm full on getting because we have this cl- this like little little closet with like our our, our uh, power board. What the fuck do you call it? Circuit breaker board. Circuit breaker panel is in there, and it's got like the the bro- the boiler the broiler for our fucking heater. <laughs> the broiler. <laughs> hey, Wait, what are you broiling they, in there? They don't mess around with the heaters in Alaska, all right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dual purpose heater. Hey, it's cold. Throw some steaks on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we got these all these boxes of DVDs. And I'm like, what are we doing with these? We're not watching them. They're just sitting there. There's movies we like to watch or want to watch again or haven't seen because you know a lot of those. A lot. Of, this is the collection of my wife's movies and my movies all smashed into one. Mm. So we started going through it and burning them onto the into the Plex. And it's yeah, it's not not been too bad been fun uh, i found a couple of gems in there that i didn't know we had four copies of uh a couple, so couple of them unopened which is i mean you know i'm fine with that that's so my yeah 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 so my my question to you then is what are you going to do with those physical discs now are you going to hold on to them for archival purposes or are you going to um uh so the, perhaps? <clears throat> the law requires me to say that i will maintain them for archival purposes <laughs> Uh, of course, but no, really, what, what we're probably to do is uh, just throw it on the throw it in the garage, or something like that, somewhere completely out of the way that we didn't never have to get to again because it's just got to sit there. No, <laughs> you got to use them as coasters, bro. Just like in the burning heyday. We don't have tables though. Like we've already learned, kids, kids plus tables doesn't work. We got too many kids in this house to <laughs> to worry about. Well, you don't have tables. <laughs> like, what's your computer on? It's like oh, holy this, shit, dude. Oh no, it's, it's no, just no, levitating. No, no I. Where do you I play? I have special coasters cards? for myself. Where do you play cards? If you don't uh, have a table. Unfortunately, we don't. We, we don't really play cards. We, may, maybe the, the dining room, dining table, but we don't have coasters for that either. You aren't <laughs> making a strong case for Alaska, bro. You guys don't <laughs> have tables. Right there. there are no Holy tables God. in Alaska. No, no. There, it, it, actually, they checked us at the at the border. They're like, "You got tables, eh?" <laughs> <laughs> the tables are just like you can't even talk about tables. It's like the N word in Alaska. It's like, what did he just say? He said table, March. <laughs> oh my God, what a backwards idiot! <laughs> I, I, don't know. I that's actually one thing that I learned about Alaska is there's not like a lot of lot of um, southern rednecks up here, which you figure you know it's it's kind of like that atmosphere, right? You, you can live five miles from a neighbor, that kind of shit. But it's all of these. Um, it's it's all these like little tribes that are all spread out from each other, and they've cross. I don't say crossbred. That sounds weird, but that's exactly <laughs> essentially what's happened. <laughs> they've 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 socially intermingled through marriage and things like that with all these these whites that have moved up from from the lower forty eight. So you don't get like that southern draw, but you get somebody who lo- who looks like just like 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 I do. But they speak with this accent. It's like, where the hell is that from? What is that? And then you find out they're like third generation Inuit or something like that. It's crazy. Like the nuke of the north. Do they have their own Tinder? Is it like iceberg? You know what I mean? There's <laughs> some shit, some special Alaskan Tinder just for Inuits. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to find out. That's actually, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised at all. There are several people up here that are like the last remaining person that speaks that language. Which is always kind of interesting. 
You That's know? pretty cool, man. One of them. We should get one of them on the show. Uh, I would, but I don't speak the language, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> and, so they and, and only speak that? Yeah, and there's there's no one to translate. <laughs> you don't even have a table to sit them down at. <laughs> <laughs> Very uncomfortable here, the uh, white man. <laughs> uh, Ta- Tonda Gossa in the chat room found it. It's I C B R G. Apparently, if you looked that up on the old, uh, that's the uh, that's that's oh, the one last conversion. Yeah, <laughs> right on. No, I just said that like as a joke. That's for real. <laughs> It, 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 it I can literally be. just came up like I was just like, "What? What's of the north? Icebergs? That's really it." Oh, um, quick cool hookups. <laughs> oh my god, amazing! Oh Jesus! Hey, um, so I mentioned I, I got this uh, this new mixer, and we I had it last week. We got it to work last week. We we stayed after uh, after the show to finally work out exactly how it's supposed to work with skype and maybe even multi-channel recording things like that Mm -hmm. and then the next morning i go to to do an interview for undaunted and none of the audio is working none of it nothing at all the mic's not going through the sounds aren't coming through like nothing is working apparently turn it on no i did that i did that the lights were even on i i looked there are two different drivers. There's the AC or ASIO drivers, and there's the MME drivers. And apparently, I had chosen the wrong ones. So when I re, re- changed that back over in the in the s- computer settings, I was on the like forty eight thousand hertz instead of the forty one uh, forty four one. So that screwed everything up. And by the time I got it all figured out, I lost the damn interview. Totally oh. pissed me off. That sucks. Are you gonna be able to get him back on? Um, I think so. It's just a matter of uh, the rescheduling thing. He's he's pretty busy, or he just doesn't want to come back on. Um, but <laughs> either way, that really pissed me off. So just the the stupid little things like that. They're like, why why is that such a difference? And yeah, it certainly certainly was because nothing fucking worked. Damn. So um, the the gremlins like had their revenge on yeah, you. Yeah, I, I got I, the gremlins like wrote drivers for this fucking board is what they did. <laughs> and we planned it out years ahead of time, uh, and 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 finally got me. And I I, I mentioned that uh, that I might I might send it back. Um, I haven't gotten confirmation of my registration of the serial number yet, and I know the board was previously opened because one of the little bags that had the cables and shit in it was was torn. So I'm thinking somebody bought it, registered it, used it, sent it back to Amazon, and then they sold it to me. In which case. I need some fucking registration. I need some warranty. So that might be that might be cause. And if I send it back, then I am then then I have to worry. Um, send it back and then pay a little bit more and get the next line up and have four aux channels instead of this, just the two I can't figure out now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know that that terminal upgrade that uh, the 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 ritual misery of knowing that there's something just a little bit better for just a little bit more money. Yeah, but oh, yeah. do you need that extra bump? I don't know. That's yeah, you're right. That is the that that is like an eternal question. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're buying a car or buying a mixer or buying a burger, like yeah, I don't need the bacon, but it's only forty cents. You know, like, there's there's always that little upcharge, like that internal conflict. Like the bacon Same would thing taste with hookers, better. man. <laughs> with anal, just a quick little upcharge, your world would be changed, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so apparently both of you did some gaming this weekend. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So like, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a pretty big fucking nerd and all I do is play League of Legends and Overwatch competitively. So like I have no friends and I'm like the saltiest person on the planet. You know what I mean? Like, both of those communities. Wheelbarrows like, full of salt. Dude, they're more toxic than Trump come. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I would not recommend anyone to start playing League of Legends at this point. It's, it's futile if you haven't started like a long time ago. But like, yeah, I, I watch, and that's, I don't know, it's the nerdiest shit. Like, my girlfriend constantly makes fun of me for it. Like, she even works at Lockheed Martin and talks about <laughs> like abstract math all day and calls me a nerd for watching professional League of Legends. You know what I mean? That's I mean I, I, I can see why you're with her now. At least the bills are paid, right? So there's that. 
Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I am I'm a Rolling Stone man. <laughs> like, <I'm> just, <laughs> just, just waiting for the next tumble. I got it. No, it's cool. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've I've not watched any competitive play live, but I have watched like YouTube reviews and things like that of competitive play, and mm-hmm. I've played enough that I appreciate some of the strategies that they do. I've also played enough to know that I am not capable of performing those strategies, <laughs> and that I don't have the time to dedicate to playing the games to get that good. That the strategies oh, are even an option. Their mechanics are insane, man. It's it's absolutely it's a wonder to watch. You know when you play the game. Yeah, and I guess I guess it's kind of cool if you don't know how to play because it's like real flashy now. You know, it actually looks kind of like a real video game nowadays, as opposed <laughs> to like years ago. It was like what locked at sixty frames per second, and it looks like you know it was made for cell phones. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so nowadays, it looks actually good. Like I watch every LCS game in the NA and EU region every week, Jeez. every fucking week. Um, that's dedication. So, yeah. so you've seen the, the the transition from the sprites to actual video games, then? Yeah, dude, and like it, it's it's sick because like Riot made billions of dollars even before they even decided to make the game look like a game. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, it's and fucking highway robbery. And and Kent, uh, PS View, what's up with that? Yeah, man. So, you know, I'm I'm a cord cutter, been a cord cutter for a really long time, mm. and um. So on Cord Killers, Tom Merritt and Brian Brushwood have been talking a lot about PS View lately mm-hmm. and kind of been looking for an excuse to to try it out, mm-hmm. but I don't really need another streaming service. Well, Isaac is really, really into basketball, my youngest son. Yeah. And he was upset that we did not have cable because <laughs> he really, really wanted to watch Game 4 of the NBA Finals because the first three games he was able to um, use alternative methods to view it, <laughs> but apparently those got shut down. <laughs> so he was I was on like, Pornhub watching that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was, yeah. So I was like, all right, uh, all right, I got to figure out how I can get this game streaming. And turned out PS View has ESPN package that was showing the game. Because I guess ESPN was re-pushing the ABC stream or something. I don't know. But anyway, so PS View had a a free trial. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to get this free trial. Because I, I wanted an excuse to use it anyway, right? So I was like, all right, cool, cool. I'm going to get a week for free. I'm going to get the highest package because there was like, you know, anywhere from like 10 bucks to all the way to 65 bucks, depending on, you know, how much shit you want in the, mm-hmm. in, in the, the like channel package, basically it's, it's just like signing up for cable. So I was like, well, shit, if it's free, no matter what, I'm going to get the biggest package. So I signed up for the 65 99 or 64 99 package. We get this game going. Cool. We're watching the game. We watch game four, uh, uh, Cleveland won that one, so we had to go to Game Five. We watched Game Five. Um, Spoiler uh, alert! I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Okay, yeah, I was like, <laughs> um, yeah, that's their own damn fault. Uh, so anyway, so it, the series ended with Game Five, and I was like, cool. All right, I got a couple days left of the trial because it's a week trial, right? Mm-hmm. Um, no, uh, no. It turns out that it was a five day trial and not a seven day trial. Oh. And uh, I found out today when I got an email from PlayStation saying, thank you for your payment. <laughs> so, oh, gee. And, and you know what's what's really bad about that is originally the PS View was a 28 day trial or uh, yeah, a 28 day trial, four weeks. Uh, and then it went down to two weeks. And I know recently it just went down to seven. So I was all in hook and sinker like I was ready to go. And then you bust that five day thing out of me like, oh, my God. So sixty five dollars. Smoked right just, away. Yeah, just gone. But now you, but now you have it for a month. So you better watch all, like all of it. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. Like nothing interested me about it. Like other than the sports and like the good. There's no good sports on right now. Yeah, so well, there's no good shows either. It's like the break, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was gonna say. Is like your 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 time is gonna end in the middle of July. Like the June, July, and August. There's nothing on TV. It's all reruns and bullshit because everybody's enjoying yeah. the summer. So it was so basically it was a sixty five dollar fuck up. I'm probably gonna cancel it tomorrow and 
just chalk it up to lesson learned, I guess. Uh, <laughs> see, I want to say lesson learned, but that's optimistic. I didn't learn shit. No, can you can you use that to validate your your services? So you can go through like your Apple TV right now and validate all the channels like right now and then actually have those until they realize that the validation's gone. So you hey, just call I'm, it a all right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep it until I try all of this. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on individual apps. I'm gonna try it through Hulu. I'm gonna try all of the all of that. Because that's oh, what yeah. I had to do with ESPN. I had to validate and I use PS views validation for Yeah, it. validate everything now because I still um I might still have some Disney validation on my old <laughs> Apple TV that just never went away. I'm just saying. <laughs> So if it's a sixty-five dollar disappointment, it's pretty much the TV version of No Man's Sky. Is what you're saying? Oh, I, I don't know if it's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this only came with like like an afternoon of hope. Uh, no Man's Sky came out with like like <laughs> three years of buildup. Like that was like the the worst non orgasm ever. Uh, oh my God, dude. <laughs> this is the biggest game of all time. Oh, and it's not really a game. It's just a simulation. Just, it just it's a math working, problem. Walking you know, around, I'm, looking at things. I'm also like so far away from consoles. I was like, what the fuck is PS View until you like started talking about it? I thought it was like some France exclusive gay ass. <laughs> oh, PS View. <laughs> <laughs> some gay ass. Dude, yeah, it's spelled V I E U X. Yeah, V I U A X. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, hey, uh, if. If if people want to help you recover that sixty five dollars, they appreciate your story that much. They can cruise on over to ritualmisery dot com slash support and uh, find all, all kinds of different ways to help compensate you for your time and frustration and anger and having to deal sixty five dollars to the to to the gods of two missing days. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. We've got the Patreon on there. We've got uh, t shirts. You can find where to get your very own ritual misery t shirt. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff on there. There's 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 so many ways to support the show. I encourage everyone to go check that out. It's ritualmisery.com slash support. And go in particular, I just want to mention our patron, Patreon real quick. Um, I'm doing Undaunted, and there is... Every week, I will be releasing an episode of Undaunted early to our patrons. Um, uh, at least a few days early. Uh, I'm going to try to get make sure it's on Saturday. I might actually just start re- releasing them on the Patreon as soon as I get them publi- edited and ready to go so mm-hmm. that you guys ha- can have them there and give uh, early feedback and things like that. And we have some other things that are lined up that uh, that I, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about, though, that I don't even think I, I know Kent doesn't even know about. So cruise on over to ritualmisery.com slash support and find ways and make things happen. So there you go. There's that. Hey, um... We have one of these to talk about this week. Yeah, man, this week we checked out Michael Shermer, Why People Believe Weird Things. Did, did you did you watch this one, Amos? I did. I did. I thought it was awesome. I loved it. Yep. Uh Paul, did you did you happen to check out the TED Talk? Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was really intriguing, and I was like, "Yo, explain the ghost I seen, motherfucker!" Like, <laughs> no, but, uh, the, the ghost I've convinced of myself I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's yeah. like uh, I just watched my engineer girlfriend give me a lecture on why I'm a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, can go ahead and summarize this for the uh, for the for the for the listeners. Yeah. So Michael Shermer is. Uh, a guy that he, he runs a website and publishes a magazine. Uh, what is the name of it? I should have had this pulled up. Anyway, uh, Skeptic. Skeptic. It's called Skeptic. It's been around and, for a uh, while, too. Yeah. And he's basically, maybe you could call him a debunker. Uh, they, they basically, they, they take these stories of, of um, amazing things that happened, whether it's uh, claims of miracles or uh, crop circles, uh, all of these unexplainable things that have occurred that people assign, uh, you know, certain, like a lot of times it's mysticism or, or, you know, some superstitious explanation or whatever for, and well, he basically comes in here and gives fucking his high school girlfriend, man, that's a miracle <laughs> right there. <laughs> that was divine intervention, bro. It, 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 I, I can explain that by it didn't happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, that really was Jesus. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, don't do this. Yeah, don't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, but yeah. So Shermer and company basically go in and they they uh, provide scientific explanations for things. 
And yeah. um, I, I I found this talk pretty interesting. He uh, he basically just goes through his methodology. And um, one of the examples that that really amused me was the uh, the grilled cheese sandwich that someone several years ago, it's probably like 10 years ago now, someone had a grilled cheese sandwich that they had the uh, the face of Christ on it. And they ended up selling Mary, it on it? eBay for like $12,000 or something crazy. What was that, Paul? I thought it was like the Virgin Mary. On, on the or maybe it was Mary. It, yeah. could, it might have been Elvis or aliens or anything. It could have been. It could have been Elvis. Anything like the, uh, the American God. I'm I'm still waiting for someone to debunk Elvis. Like I, I not that he's dead or not that he's alive or whatever. Just that he ne- he ever existed. There like, was I, never an Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> the Holocaust didn't happen. Elvis never existed. Yeah. The Earth. White is, people made rock and roll. Yeah, the, right? the Earth is flat. <laughs> Now that's some that's some hilarious shit right there. Hey, the moon is fake. The moon is fake. Uh, not the uh, landing. No, the, no, they 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 re- really landed on the fake moon, but the moon itself is fake. That's correct. Correct. <laughs> yes. Accurate. Accurate. Uh, I, I still can't no, say Elvis without thinking about my dick because I used to call that like my dick used to be named Elvis the King of Cock because <laughs> I was always into dad puns apparently. <laughs> like just, so you said you said it used to be called Elvis. What what is it called now? Oh, now it doesn't even have a name. It doesn't deserve one. <laughs> like <it> just, <laughs> you're, you're dead to me now. Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, I mean, you. after after a tryst or two with Song Kong and Sally, you just don't you don't you don't need a name anymore anyway. You're just a nameless individual. Dude, like, <laughs> Probably I should have never ventured off with her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you end up in a hotel, uh, a missing kidney, a missing wallet, and four dollars for a cab. They won't Once get you, you there. Once you to her vagina, you were Mac. You were like where Matthew McConaughey was in that it was the fourth <laughs> dimension. You know what I mean? I was just like pulling strings, trying to get the fuck out of that box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying to send messages to my friends through watches. <laughs> He's constantly looking out from the wrong side of the bookshelf. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> um. Uh, I I thought this was a fun talk. I thought it it, it, was, it was entertaining. It was semi informative. I mean, it's not like he he busted out a bunch of science and and really taught me something. But it was it was kind of like a a behind the scenes of Snopes is what it felt like. <laughs> kind of yeah yeah yeah. It, it, it's real basic stuff too. It's just basically uh, the, you know knowing logical fallacies and and cognitive dissonance and things like that. It's just understanding things like that and just applying it to claims that people make. And it's, yep. it's very simple but very straightforward. It's I don't know. I found it interesting. Um, he's got a couple of TED Talks out there. Um, everybody should check him out. It's Michael Shermer, Why People Believe Weird Things. Yeah. And there's like a cool picture of him and Richard Dawkins and the Amazing Randy. Like all, uh, all debunking see, spirituals. The, the, the Amazing Randy is another person that I'd, I'd love to just sit down and have a, have a talk to you one day. But he's got a, 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 an amazing story if you ever want to mm-hmm. look up something. If, if, you ever, if you're not religious, go look up the Amazing Randy. <laughs> Because it's it's not it's not for the uh, the faith faith based at heart, um, right? Because he's he's a he's a he's a complete outward atheist, and he'll have you second guessing yourself. Yeah, he, yeah he'll well, have you second guessing you... your atheism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you when you told me the name of the podcast, Ritual Misery, I just thought that was a synonym for Christianity, really. You know? <laughs> Catholicism. Hey, that's part of it. It all it all adds up to uh, what this <laughs> podcast has become. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, one day we're gonna get somebody on that's like really religious, and that's all they want to talk about. And me and you are gonna be saying like, ah, the one the one topic though. Yeah, yeah, like, I can't, but I can't, I can't, uh, like, how, mm, like I really want to talk to you about this stuff, but not in a manner that would shed very good light on me. Like, I don't. Uh, this is, yeah, I'm about to sound like an asshole. Um. <laughs> How do I see oh, this? Uh, <laughs> the only thing I care about in this conversation is crushing your soul. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that we should really have you on. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're on here to save our souls. We're here to crush theirs. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work well. Oh, I, don't know. I never, I never saw the face of God, but I saw Tim Curry play the devil in Legend, and I was like, I'm going with that guy. <laughs> that guy looks strong. Oh, God bless Tim Curry. <laughs> Yeah, or, it's, yeah, plus, whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it's something. He also played uh, played Pennywise in It, and if you if you if uh, 
Yeah, if you're not convinced yet, go watch both of those because holy hell. Yeah, yeah, he was he was yeah, he was Pennywise in the original, not not the new one coming out. He was the, like 1980 whatever that yeah. whenever that uh, speaking of things on my Plex, that's actually on my Plex, and it's something me and uh, my daughter Madison have been itching to watch. But it's like a three-hour movie because it's a you know a mini series all compacted in. And, yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. That's uh, that's a rough one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Paul, I'm I'm interested. In, what, what do you do? Do you do streaming? Do you do uh, do you stream gaming? I I want to get into it so bad, but like I haven't done a push up in like three years. So like the Domino's five five fives have really added up, you know. So like I have like this this half Korean superficial side of me. It's like you know the camera adds sixty pounds. You know, <laughs> <laughs> adds sixty pounds. Jesus, can I... you you might want to eat, dude, because <laughs> if it's adding right. sixty pounds. <laughs> yeah, oh, you think I'm skinny? Oh, I'm way skinnier than what I look. <laughs> it, it's like yeah, I know. It's like I'm just wearing this fat suit. So, you know, <laughs> make you guys feel better. Oh, uh, we, we appreciate that. Yeah, that's uh, especially the fact that we can't see you. That's that's really good. Um, so, so what are you going to be streaming when, when when you start this endeavor after you, uh, you know, do a push up or or 70? Um, I literally like so like I'm kind of superstitious. I'm like, if I start if I do a push up, right, then I'll, I'll start working out again. And I'm like, I don't know if I had the time for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But like. I, I want to start streaming soon. I got like, I got a pretty serious like setup at home. Like I got like, I got like a nice uh, condenser mic that I'm talking to right now. You know what I mean? I got like, I don't have the webcam, unfortunately, but I have like pretty good hardware to back up to stream live and stuff. Yeah. And and, yeah. and you said you play competitively. Like, are, are you, are you, are you good? Cause like, you know, yeah. I, I play spades competitively, but I'm, <laughs> I would say I'm good every time. <laughs> like, dude, I, by, I'm a competitive euchre you, player. <laughs> like, I, I know that you're like the type of dude, especially if you didn't fuck in high school, that you learned spades in the military. Like, <laughs> your first. Oh two yeah. Black friends. Well, I like, learned euchre right. when I was two, and then I learned spades once I joined the military. Right, and, it, and it, yeah. exactly, and it was like it was like, wait, wait, wait. You play with all the cards? Like, this is the same. This, and and you keep score, like. Oh, and yeah. shit talking is part of the game. Oh, this it's, is it's this hearts is stupid. for minorities. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Ouch. yeah, I want to like I'm actually pretty good like uh in Overwatch, uh I'm on the cusp of diamond, which is like upper. It's not like super good, you know, but it's 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 not bad, you know what I mean? Mm. So I got some decent skills, but like what I like is I like riffing, you know, I want to make it more entertaining because mm. I, I don't have like pro like mechanics, but I just want to, you know, be an entertainer. Just don't yell I mean? the N word you know, 43 times in five minutes and you should be fine. Right. Isn't that? No, that no. I'm of... going to use funners. <laughs> funners. 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 That's right. God, I yeah, am it was here with us during the, the pre-show. Uh, we determined that just take any word and add ER to the end of it. And it's automatically <laughs> offensive. Yeah. <laughs> So a funny guy, we wanted to call it, because Paul's a, a, a stand-up comedian or a comic. We are trying to figure out what the, the proper term was. Uh, funny guy was thrown out. But if we just take the word funny, but, you know, kind of chop the end off and put ER on the end, now it's the offensive way of calling him a comic, basically. So, and and, you know, and, yeah. and Paul, Paul, this is exactly why Kent's never going to do stand-up. Uh, he's he's going to stand up there and, and explain his own joke <laughs> as he's going through the- <laughs> deconstruct the punchline yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so before we get there let me tell you why we're getting there all right <laughs> right so here's what a joke this is uh the history of jokes let me uh go ahead and like, <laughs> wait back to we were like a librarian in the air force <laughs> it was like all right <laughs> here's uh, the jakey story i am some humor guys <laughs> he, he was so, actually he was actually a load toad believe it or not oh yeah. word yeah yeah, he he actually handled the missiles we never fired. Oh shit! Yeah, well, right. like, I, I was in Intel, so I was just feigning the fact that I knew what the fuck you were talking about. <laughs> I have um, no I idea did. what actual people that actually work in the Air Force do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no, this, I just this, this is true. This is true. Um, so I was you, you, basically you're a glorified researcher, is what you were. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. I uh, I I, w- I was a maintainer that didn't didn't maintain shit. Like I was. <laughs> 
Like, he maintained some training records. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I've, I've pulled every job very well, except for my actual AFSC of being a maintainer. So, you know, to each his own, right? <laughs> hey, and your actual job was basically, what, charging batteries and changing light bulbs? Right? Uh, f- fuck you, crew chiefs change light bulbs. Uh, that's, a, that's, <laughs> that's a service issue. That's not an electrical issue. Like how many crew chiefs does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. Ask these group of Polacks. I don't know. Like, oh, Jesus. They might know. Um, I don't know. Go ask, go ask Specs because uh, we haven't seen a crew chief in a while. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. Um, <laughs> Jesus. That's just the many. All we need right now is a uh, security forces guy and a medic. <laughs> <laughs> we can round have a Team Fortress 2 team. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you should stream that. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, actual yeah. people that play the classes at their jobs are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. Money. That is a good we ass just idea. found you. This is your oh, thing. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, we'll have a guild called just uh, Middle America, you know? It'll <laughs> just be a bunch of people doing the jobs that they that they play online. <laughs> um, That's dope. So, it is... Uh, I'm 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 curious if you're trying to stream and you is this something like like that you would like to do like and make money on or is this just something you want to do to to actually find a comedy act? Yeah, I I think it would it would support doing comedy a lot better than a nine to five would because I can make my own hours and shit and also be a lazy piece of shit by just playing video games all day. Right. Right, and then like making money, pretty much being a comic but not as poor. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, that makes sense. You, you say that, and all I, all I see is this, this fat Korean dude with these muscular <laughs> thumbs, like these massively muscular <laughs> thumbs. It, it, it's it's kind of like carrot top. Got biceps on his thumbs. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like carrot top. Everything's uh, you know everything's comedic about him except for his parents, which is half of his comedy. You know. <laughs> Have you seen yeah, him lately? Dude. He just looks looks like he's out on roids, man. If you just get some thumb roids, uh, my <laughs> thumbs will look like just like crab pincers i just have my thumbs are the ones for defense you know just like they're real big <laughs> my other fingers just feed my mouth you know yeah exactly well i mean that, that's part of it though you got to learn how to play with just one hand so you can continue to feed yourself that just be that'd, that'd be part of your stick <laughs> <laughs> now nah, dude like it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, guys... it'd be the, uh, the the feeding korean you know you, you come up with some little little name like that Dude, there's actually things I'm sure a lot a lot of people in here are pervs like ourselves. Oh yeah, and this this is the watch place like it. these tiny Korean girls weirdly eat shit. Mm. <laughs> like, have you ever seen those videos? Those exist. They're yes, called yes. They're called mukbangs, and muk is eat and pong is room. And you just literally just watch chicks Twitch stream eating shit like pigs. And being all cute and rubbing shit on their tiny Korean tits. Okay, uh, uh, so have you seen what was it? Polly, Holly, Molly. What was that shit, Kent? What? What do you? What? That 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 YouTube shit that DJM showed us. Oh, Poppy, oh, Poppy, um, Poppy, Poppy. Yes, Poppy. Have you, have you seen Poppy? Uh, just don't yeah just never mind just don't uh, oh my god that is that is the weirdest shit i've seen on youtube like i've I've seen one-off videos that are weird but this is like hundreds of videos or some shit it just yeah it's just awkward like and, it, yeah. and you don't know why it's awkward but it's and awkward i masturbated to it twice <laughs> <laughs> there's like i have like an iron resolve when it comes to masturbation mm. i have like this olympic level determination and it all stems from when i was a kid you, you guys remember, you know like you had to go to mirc you had to go to merc and you had to find like the quality files remember what we were talking about earlier mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and i remember this one file taking forever it took like it took me about like six hours so i had to literally wait like and just wait my boner out you know <laughs> it was 250 <laughs> and, megabyte file yeah, and which only increased the anticipation. By the way, it it didn't hurt things at all. <laughs> yeah, and it, this is like the time when you know I didn't know I could just Google the title of this movie, but it was, <laughs> and see you know what like at le- at least the synopsis what it was, and it was a movie called Bend It Like Beckham, 
And it, I don't know if you guys know, that's a movie about David Beckham and two fangirls from Britain that are on like an amateur soccer team. Nothing to do with sex whatsoever. <laughs> it's like Kira Knightley's first big break, right? And I still <laughs> masturbated to it. <laughs> And this is like a young Kira Knightley, not like, like no curves. And I was just like, all right, those shorts have to do it. Like I had to pause this. Like I can't waste this moment, you know. <laughs> I can masturbate to to anything. Which had to be challenging with your with your crab claws, dude. Yeah, I put on my headband, my wristbands. Uh, now, see, now, mas- now I have a question. Like, have have you ever masturbated while playing a game? Like, no, just, just kind of rub the controller against your dick for, like, 20 minutes until something happens? Nah, like, I don't use controllers, man. <laughs> I'm too old. I use a mouse and keyboard. But do you, yeah. use, you know? now, do you use the same mouse and keyboard as you do when you're surfing porn? No, I actually have a, like, this, I have a pretty decent set. Like, I, I don't. You have a separate porn set? Uh, I don't, what, sully my PC <laughs> with porn. That's why I have a MacBook. <laughs> Ah, my, right. My MacBook's my porn machine. There you go. There you go. I mean, it's already white, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when, when, Paul, when you said you didn't use controllers, I was like, oh, so power glove. Oh, definitely, dude. Definitely. But I had to mod it with its own vibration function, you know? Right. And the, the, uh, the, the, the lube injectors, right? The little... Uh... <laughs> no, I, some, I go full man Japanese mode. dude I has I done that. Lube. I, I promise. <laughs> promise. That's like, happened. Yeah, I, I, it's... I, I'm always like, seeing on Twitter these like random Japanese inventions, and you know it's like the little glasses that have little droppers, so you you don't have to be really precise when you drop. And I'm thinking, I'm just sitting thinking, man, how gross is that? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't don't uh don't don't kink shame. Don't kink shame. Uh, no, we're not kink shaming. We're yellow Nazi shaming. Those goddamn <laughs> Japs. I swear to God. <laughs> says swear says to God. <laughs> says the half Korean. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Dude, you know, you know the Koreans. We got problems with the Japanese. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, um, hey, Paul. I don't know if you've seen this show, but I've got one question for you. Are you ready? Yes. You've got sixty seconds. Get your mind right. It's time for hot takes on the Ritual Misery podcast. All right, Paul. The way this works, I'm going to give you a topic, and you are going to rant and rave and say whatever the hell you want to say about it until you hear. The record scratch like that, and you stop talking, and we move to the next topic. It's going to last about 60 seconds. Are you ready? You got it. All right, man. Fidget spinners, am I right? Yo, uh, I liked fidget spinners way more when they were in 90s rap videos on Cadillac trucks, man. Like, you had motherfuckers bending down. Canadians, am I right? Dude, aliens. Like, I swear to God, Sigourney Weaver used to be hot. Then she turned into my Korean grandmother. Just Ajima haircut. Like, boner flattener. <laughs> One dollar tacos, am I right? The One dollar tacos, no quicker way to lose two pounds. You know? One dollar tacos, go in, <laughs> just rip the toilet apart. Just destroy it, man. <laughs> the middle of nowhere, Texas, am I right? All right, uh, that's a sensitive part. That's where I dump the sun I don't love off of at uh, San Angelo, middle of nowhere, Texas. You're there, son. One day you'll hear this. Know that daddy doesn't love you. <laughs> <laughs> the Ritual Misery podcast, am I right? It's like when you told me that, I just I just imagine Anthony with like a cat of nine tails, but on the end with NES controllers and his smacking on his fat hairy back with these dilapidated 90s controllers you know it kind of gave me a bone <laughs> i'm activated to it oh, oh my god oh. that was the original idea of the logo oh. and we couldn't get it drawn so <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome paul thanks for playing that game thanks man oh my gosh um <clears throat> hey uh speaking of uh nes controllers if you ever want an nes controller you need to plug it into your computer because you uh you run uh, retro arch like i do and uh play all your old roms and shit like that on there Make sure you cruise on over to geekandgamergear.com. That's all I'm going to say because uh, I'm getting tired of reading that same ad. Um, yeah, man, I, all I want to say is go over to geekandgamergear.com and find some some really great price stuff. And if you use the code RITUALMISERY at checkout, you get an additional 10% off already low prices. Right, and we get like an 80 cent Ge- deposit in our PayPal because it's awesome like that. Yep, geekandgamergear.com. Check it out. 
Hey, uh, hey, Paul, you know, you got kind of a, a, a certain look to you. Um, have you ever thought maybe you had a twin out there? Yeah, possibly, you know, like, I just don't know, like, how someone could look so fat and gay at the same time, <laughs> just like I do. Well, see, I think the bigger challenge is going to be find, finding someone else named Paul Smith. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Very nice. huge. Yeah, the, the name twin, probably not so hard to find. Um, <laughs> there's a site out there called twinstrangers.net. You can cruise on over to twinstrangers.net, and you can actually find out you can put all your information in there, put a picture in there, and show, uh, uh, catalog some of your, uh, your, your aesthetics, and it will sit there and search a huge database to find out if you have a twin out there. Not a genetic twin, just a, an appearance twin. And, a doppelganger. Yeah, a doppelganger. And uh, I, was, I, almost, I thought about doing this just to see. Like, I'd be curious to see if there's someone else as ugly as I am out there. That'd be, that'd be cool. Um, I don't want Kent to do it, though, because I don't want to know there's someone as ugly as him out there. <laughs> dude right you know i almost did this too when when i saw this in the show notes i was like oh man we're gonna do this mm, then i got scared because it's like dude do you do i really want to put my picture and a whole bunch of personal information together and just give it to some crazy ass website i don't know man <laughs> i don't, I don't, I don't want to go on there and find out that my doppelganger is just a pre-diabetic Russell Wong. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to find my doppelganger and find out that he's a good person. Like, he's better than me. <laughs> right, or, or richer, better looking. He's, in, he's been in porno movies. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so I go there, it's a picture of Ken Watanabe doing, like, role research on managing a golden corral. That's just me. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go on there and find out that my twin is Harambe. Um, <laughs> hey, he was the best of us. <laughs> that, that would just piss me off. Like I'd be like, "Damn it!" Like I certainly, certainly lost out on that. You think Six Harambe seven. is why Caesar is so pissed off in Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like they're oh, martyr. Man. It's like the the first the the the, uh, the first shot in the war. Um, <laughs> geez, um, <laughs> you're. A year ago in Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, they should use real footage of that, man. That'd be dope. <laughs> oh, like, like in just in a TV screen in the back when they, when, like, they break into a research area and they're showing like this historic film, you know, like Lost style. Like they didn't Lost, it, right? They, 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 they show these old videos. <laughs> the Harambe footage would be like the Planet of the Apes Faces of Death VHS tapes. <laughs> like, it's like only one person in high school owns it, and you got to find that motherfucker and like go to his house, yeah, on a weird Tuesday night and just play Faces of Death. Hey, um, by the way, <laughs> I I got to tell you that if you go out and find those Faces of Death videos, like what three of them or four of them or whatever, find them, watch them. They don't hold up. Like the world has just gotten so fucked up oh. now that they don't hold up anymore. <laughs> Dude, they're garbage. Like, there's but there's more fucked up shit on YouTube now than on these banned VHS yeah. tapes from 20 years ago. Uh, Dude, I it's, saw it's, like I saw one. Uh, a buddy of mine, he he teaches English in China. He showed me uh, this lady. So like you know, at the top of an escalator, this woman fell in like the the metal like flooring buckled she fell in and got grinded by the gears oh geez in the escalator and i was oh. like man that is actually pretty dope because who likes chinese people you know like who <laughs> I, I don't you tell me bro. again says the half korean guy that, uh... <laughs> um dark darker even in the chat room says uh faces of dole am i right uh <laughs> that's that's yeah that's basically about it. yeah um, hey, I found a uh, found you know Ranker. There's this is one of the, one of these sites that you run into this complete garbage. Once in a while, there's something halfway interesting on here, and this is the most awkward movies to watch with your parents. Yeah, man. I I actually I, I was looking at this, and um, man, is is basically every mainstream movie that has sex in it. Uh, yes. It, yes. it is, but there 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 are a few standouts. Like number one is Eyes Wide Shut. I've never seen it. Can't can't comment on it. Um, garbage. Don't bother. You it's never garbage. you never seen the Illuminati orgy scene? No. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone wears masks and owns land. Um, <laughs> like, uh, number two. Yeah. Number two is American Pie, which I originally saw with my mom. So I. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. 
basic um, instinct again. Saw it with my mom. Like uh, maybe I'm just perverted or something, or just didn't oh understand what's going on. I, is your so mom basic instinct. Sharon Stone. <laughs> <laughs> basic instinct came out when I think I was in ninth grade. I went and rented this from. From just, the video store in Oxford. Just anyways, for the one scene. I, just for the one scene is the only porn that showed. <laughs> and I beat the hell out of my penis when my mom was at work <laughs> watching this movie. Dude, I just still uh, remember watching my first porn, like actual XXX rated. Like my friend's dad worked at a porn store, like a VHS store, and he had like this box of tapes. And yeah, he was yeah. like my best friend because of that one reason and mm. the fir- and like i remember i was sleeping over and he like left and i was wearing basketball shorts and i literally like two stroke chumped myself like it was like the most graphic shit i've ever seen you know so, yeah no so look, look Tom look, DeGossett wants to know if you bent it like beckham dude i i didn't have to i did not i, I stroked it like zidane i don't like i just <laughs> It was real smooth. I just headbutted my dick, and it just exploded. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, it was miraculous because, like, you know, dude, I had, I I had to actually work when I watched Ben and like Beckham. You know, I had to like come up with imagery and plot lines. But like when that <laughs> when there was just a dick and vagina, there was I just didn't need to do that. It was like pumping like I don't pump my own gas. I live in New Jersey, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think my own thoughts. Give me that porn, you know? <laughs> Give it to me. Um, some of the others on here are uh, Secretary. I've never seen it. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I didn't think was that was was that much of a erotic movie for me. Brokeback Mountain. Have you seen Secretary? Um, I have not. That's I've never still even heard kind of, of boner worthy. Yeah. 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 That's like what Fifty Shades of Grey tries to be. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> It's really good. Um, like it can make Maggie Gyllenhaal's melted candle face look good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, broke broke back mountain. I've never seen. Nine and a half weeks. I don't remember. The human centipede. There's where you start getting the awkward ones. Yeah. See that one's okay. That one's not about sex. Uh, no. At least not in a in any sort of direct way. Um, I did watch that movie and. It's disturbing. It is just like, uh, so don't watch these with your parents. Probably just don't watch it. Period. <laughs> Dude, like, why even watch the Human Centipede <laughs> to begin? Right? Like, I, would I never watched watch it a- out of curiosity because I wanted to see what the hype was about, and then I Dude. felt bad about myself uh, right before I watched uh, the second one. So, um, my, my dad is so Christian that he misuses Shalom a lot on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, <laughs> you're not Jewish, Dad. You're a fucking Italian guy from Brooklyn. He's like, Shalom. I was like, all right, all right, that's enough. <laughs> that's fucking enough. Go back like, to your no room, Dad. There's no way I watch a human centipede. So. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, so uh, there's one more thing that I wanted, wanted to share with you guys today, and this is a complete departure from what we were just talking about, and it's... I call it I call it Autumn's story time and I'm going to play a file and just let you guys listen. Oh god, okay. Okay, Autumn. Yes, Daddy. Um how do you spell your name? I don't know. <laughs> how old are you? 4. And who are you? Autumn. And who am I? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you like to tell stories. Yes. Okay. And do you have a story to tell us tonight? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us a story? Okay. <clears throat> what a time. A very big a time in a story. A no way I did out. And no way at the end. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So so you couldn't find a way in or out? Yes. And where were you? In a book. In a book? Yes. You were in a book? Yes. And you couldn't find your way in or out? Yes. How did you end up in the book? I don't know. <laughs> then what happened? 
at Ted Do Home and Monster Time. Monster Time. Yes. What kind of monster? A we we a dragon, green dragon, a uh, robot. A green dragon. Yes. And like, it, and it could, could it smell you? Did it know where you were? Yes, like this. Why? And it was flying. Yes. And was it chasing you? Yes. In a book? Yes. How did the dragon get in the book? I don't know. <laughs> and it's here to fight in the book. <laughs> well, then what happened? Another master time. Wow. Stop did, it. Did you did you escape? Yes. Did you did you kill the dragon or did you run away? I will away super fast. Super fast? Yes. A monster tent dimmy. <laughs> okay. And and did you eventually found your way out of the book? Yes. How did you find your way out of the book? I did a power. A back forth. Back forth and I do out the book. So you went back and forth and back and forth and you jumped out of the book? Yes. Wow, that's a pretty exciting story. I need a pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that is story time with Autumn. <laughs> Dude! Is that, is, is that what it sounds like when you love your kids? I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it, that's kind of why. <laughs> that's, I, I want to let you know that's... <laughs> That was freaking awesome, dude. That needs to become like you and Autumn need to have a podcast from now until like she is too old to give a fuck. And <laughs> which, this would be like the which, is, which is five, by the way. Time. It's five. Five is the age in which they stop giving a fuck. <laughs> well, that's whatever. It's fine. That was awesome. I enjoyed every second of that. That was so great. Um, I so love how you basically dungeon mastered her. Yeah, to her destiny. Well, well, I thought it was, I thought it was appropriate because um, so this is something I learned from Paul is uh, yes and and Kent. This is how improv is actually done. So, you know, uh, you you just kind of keep going with it, whatever happens. I was I was uh, we sat there. We we actually recorded for like half an hour, and uh, that was the first story she told. I have five, four or five more. That nice. are, are recorded, but um, but not not you know pulled out of the out of the conversation. So, yeah, great. I thought that I thought that was amazing. That's great, man. <clears throat> it's it's it. it's amazing, like how vivid their imaginations can be. You know. Yeah, and and, and then I I like the the cue that I missed when she said another monster came, and I I don't know what I thought she said, but I thought she said something else. Um, so could could expand the story there, but. Yeah, I, I gave her a mic. I actually gave her my old ACR mic and had it all set up and everything else. And she's she's by the end of the night, like you know, then half an hour or whatever, she's in her working on mic techniques so she can hear herself <laughs> in the headphones. Like she's awesome. a, she's a natural. It was like you know, this is like what kind of asshole I am the whole time. I thought she was gonna say the N word. You know, I was just like just waiting. I was like, when's it when's it dropping? What's he teaching her? <laughs> No, baby. Girl. I need to be offended before I find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is why people don't come to your shows, Ball. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's exactly like I just wear the, I wear the sandwich sign and uh, die hard with the vengeance. <laughs> with nothing <laughs> underneath. Not show. Nothing underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, um, there is a. Uh, so Paul has actually tried to be in in kind of the show business, if you want to call comedy that, um, for quite a while. And and Paul, I don't know if you know this, but I did some Facebook research and found an old old letter that you had written, uh, mm. trying to be on a uh, a talent show. And we are uh, we we're gonna go ahead and read it on, on on air if you don't mind. And I I thought it was it was fascinating to get this look like way back in a in a comedian or comic, whichever one you are. In, in your history to the see what yeah this you know <laughs> way 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 back in the history of a funner um to really uh really get some 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 eyes onto where you where you came from and why you're just you know why you're still uh, uh doing comedy today so uh Kent if you wouldn't mind reading this man um 
Like it's yeah. a, it took a ton of research to find this, but you've got some people back uh, oh. back in the day that really kept good records. Yeah. Oh, it's so so insightful, and um, I'm I'm honored to read this this letter from a a ten year old Paul. Uh, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> I hope it's archived with my real world slash road rules audition tape. Um, it's it's a uh, it, it does have what appears to be a semen stain, so I'm just gonna leave that <laughs> alone and let can't read it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Dear Jesus, I am 10 years old, and I would like to audition for the talent search you're having on your amazing television program. You are my favorite TV girlfriend, and I think you would like my act. I open by playing the plot line. Then I sing, Somewhere over the pizza, while juggling three years. Then... <laughs> For a really awesome finish to my act, I recite Lincoln's Gettysburg string and go off stage waving an American thumb. If you give me the chance, I am sure that I can become another Elvis or maybe even another The Amazing Randy. And when I become rich and famous, I'll tell everyone that you gave me my first big fangirl. Yours truly, Paul Smith. <laughs> that was beautiful. I'm man, actually crying a little you, bit. You're, you you're, exposed you're, my soul. You were so well ahead of your time, man. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was. I knew. I knew Jesus had no gender this whole time. Yeah, it's, that, that it was, was gender fluid. It's very insightful. I'm you. just surprised that's Jesus a, would give you your first fangirl. That's a, that, that's a bit of a twist. That's a different hey, different hey. bit of the dogma. Mm -hmm. he's, <laughs> he's very giving to the true believers. Uh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Do you know how hard and fervently I played Shine Jesus Shine? <laughs> really, really hard. <laughs> on the drums, yes. yes. On the drums. Uh, 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 well, at least with at, at least with a stick in your hand. Whether or not there's another instrument it might be a different story. <laughs> Beating it for Jesus is is how he referred to it. <laughs> Was that his original oh. band name? Beating it for Jesus. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no better masturbation when you're a Christian. I'm, I actually miss it. I actually miss feeling that guilt, that rush of euphoria, and then just a wave of guilt. It's just like, uh, hey, tears make great lubricant. So, <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I actually, I, I masturbate like a Russian woman, no lube and no facial expression whatsoever. Like, it's. Seriously, like no, hundred percent accurate. I don't use lube, but I'm pretty sure my dick is like rougher skin than my hands at this point. <laughs> he has calluses on his dick. No, that happened before. <clears throat> He's got calluses on his face, at least. <laughs> oh yeah, my gosh! Shit. Okay, all right, uh, Paul. Uh, wh where can people go and find uh, the, you, where you're going to be uh, performing and more things about your comedy and about your act, and maybe uh, find you online so they can come beat you up there too. <laughs> uh, I have a Facebook, uh, Paul Smith. <laughs> Get it? It's my name, and uh, oh, I also oh, have. I, there. <laughs> I also have uh, a Twitter, P Smitty, P S M, the numeral one, because I'm elite Zor. I'm a hack Zor. Uh, T T Y, P S M one T T Y, uh, and all my uh, other online presence are pretty much P five M one T T Y, which is P Smitty. I don't know how, like, so many times like when I play games, people call me P5 MIDI. I'm like, you fucking millennial. <laughs> you would never be elite sore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you big dummies. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Kent, what about you, man? Man, uh, go go check me out on Twitter. I am at RM underscore Del Noche. I'm Del Noche everywhere else. Uh, just go to anything and search for del noche you'll find me there what about you man at ethan kane uh on the old twitter and uh nothing else really matters so cruise on by twitter and go to at ethan kane um hey thank you to paul thank you to kent thank you to the listeners man this has been a great show really really fun time um and so many things in the pipeline coming for this for this show and all the others that we do uh cruise on over to richardmisery.com to find out even more information and thank you to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use his tracks for this uh, for this here show and pretty much all the shows that we do, really. Um, mm. Except for Film Zone. You did your own little crazy shit there. 
Hey, I still borrowed from him, though. Let's see. There you go. So this is uh, this is the Ritual Misery Podcast. Uh, Kent Fleur, Anthony Lemos, and P. Smitty. See ya. Bye-bye. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> And that be a show, fellas. Welcome to the post show. Everybody <laughs> go to showbot.tv. Uh, showbot.tv. You, you give him one chance to sing, and all of a sudden he won't shut up. That's, that's what's <laughs> going on right there. That's...